What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joku Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So, we've got some interesting news. It doesn't really affect the Cowboys any stretch of the imagination unless you're one of those Cowboy fans that say, we should go get Antonio Brown. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to get another job or not, but Antonio Brown has kind of put Tampa Bay in kind of a situation that doesn't exactly look good. Now, I would say there's three sides to every argument. There's your side, there's my side, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. Now, the problem for Antonio Brown is this scorched earth, earth policy that he's had. You can kind of look and see from leaving Pittsburgh, going to the Raiders, where in August he actually got frostbite on his feet. I mean, I, I, you got to work hard to get frostbite in August on your feet, okay? That was where he was doing uh, the hyperbolic chamber or something, but he literally had frostbite on his feet. Then there was the whole, you know what, I want my old helmet because, you know, the reason I'm crazy is because I've been using the old helmet that aren't as safe as the new ones. So he forced his way out of the Raiders to New England where he played a couple of games and forced his way out of there. And, of course, Tom Brady brought him to Tampa Bay where he got a Super Bowl. And, you know, Bruce Arians basically said you got one chance, one shot, one opportunity until everybody else got hurt. But, of course, <laughs> we're cool. So we all saw last weekend him take his shoulder pads off, throw them on the ground, take his shirt and his gloves and throw it to the crowd and wave peace, bye-bye, and leave. And everybody said, well, he's just crazy. He's just gone off. What happened? The speculation was Tom Brady went off on him on a roof or something like that and so on. Well, Antonio Brown has since come back out with actually evidence to his mind of the situation. In his mind, he was still injured with the ankle and that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had given him a painkiller um, shot to relieve the plain pain that the NFL PA has warned teams about using. Um, because if this is the one I'm thinking of, and I can't, it's, it's at least my imagination right now, but the NFL and the NFL PA warned players about taking this um, pain medication before competition because it supposedly leads to internal bleeding. He says his ankle was shot, that he's gotten an MRI on Monday that shows bone fragments in there as well as ligament damage and is scheduled to have surgery. And the reason he just walked off was because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Bruce Arians were basically saying, you're going to play, and shot him up with painkillers and said, you can play. And he's on the other side of the fence saying, no, I can't. Now, I don't know what the real deal is. I, I, I really don't. Um, but him having the MRI, at this time of year, everybody is beat up, battered, bruised, and got bone spurs and fragments and partial ligament tears and things like that. And they go into the off season, which is now a shortened off season, and usually get surgery to repair those things. In Antonio Brown's mind, he's going to be back next year. I don't know if somebody's going to sign him or not. Um, I don't know where this whole situation goes. Um, the thing that you have to realize is if you have talent, you get multiple chances. That's the bottom line. So, Tampa Bay, I guess you now have some explaining to do on that one. And in the grand scheme of things, um, being shot up, being put out on the field when your body is really not there, that's been going on at the beginning of football time. Um, guys have been playing with broken bones. And, you know, you think about Ronnie Lott, who literally said, cut my finger off at halftime so he could go out and play. Football players are modern-day gladiators. I hate to say it, but, you know, when they're done with you, they're done with you. The things that they do that you have no idea to stay on the field for our entertainment is insane. The amount of pain that they go through 
That's why I can never, you know, sit here and cheer on somebody getting injured. Oh, oh. that cracked the windshield. Is that right there? Yeah, I feel like it hit over here. Okay. Sharp kicked up a rock. It's insane, to be quite honest. Uh, you couldn't go through what these guys do on a weekly basis. Anyway, hope y'all having a great day. And I will see you sometime in the very near future. Peace. Okay, so we've actually got the other shoe to drop now. Because AB is now posting text messages between him and Bruce Arians. So from what we're hearing, well, actually we're not hearing much from Tampa Bay or Bruce Arians on this. Um, this is one side of the argument where Anthony Brown is basically saying, my ankle was shot, they knew it was shot, didn't care, so I'm going to leave. So in some regards, this makes A.B. look a little bit better, but the big question is, is did his ankle look like it was hurt when he was in the end zone saying peace to people and standing on his tippy toes? I haven't seen him limping on the field, and I, I wonder when exactly the ankle was hurt. I don't know, like you said, and, and if you've gotten clips of it or if you've seen it, please fill me in on it. But the real thing, the real issue, and this is where it really gets to be interesting, is not so much whether Antonio Brown gets another chance next year. I'm sure somebody will bring, them, bring him in if for nothing else to get publicity. Um, he does have a lot of talents, but he is constantly burn bridges and it's just been that diva and pain in the rear end. The thing that seems to be missing out of this equation is how it hurts Tampa Bay going into the playoffs. They already lost Chris Godwin. Um, Mike Evans has been kind of hurting. And now Anthony Brown is down. You know, I know that the GOAT has, you know, won Super Bowls before without a lot of offense with a great defense. But this takes the Tampa Bay's offense definitely down quite a few notches from where it was. And this is going to be where, you know, I know they say the Cowboys are a fringe team. Injuries, COVID, crazy players are all going to affect the team going into the playoffs. And the question will be is, is Tampa Bay's defense good enough to overcome the losses on Tampa Bay's offense? I don't know. Um, and going into the playoffs, you can look at every team as having an Achilles heel in here. As much as they say the Cowboys are inconsistent, you know, you've seen the Cowboys when they play together and play right, that they can play with anybody. You've seen, of course, when they're inconsistent, playing down to the level of competition. But as I look at this, knowing that Tampa Bay's got issues with the wide receiver core, and now you've got this distraction of the whole Anthony Antonio Brown situation now blowing up that Tampa Bay is going to have to answer this. Tom Brady is up under the bus along with Bruce Arians. Um, that is a distraction heading into the playoffs that are only a week and a couple of days away. And as much as people will praise the Rams and what they're doing, Matthew Stafford over the last half of the season has become a turnover machine. And with the pick sixes he's throwing, They've overcome some of these because the defense has played well at times. But when you start talking about the playoffs, you can't make those mistakes. And going forward, we know our Cowboys are up and down, but at least the Cowboys are getting healthy. The Green Bay Packers, of course, Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. He's always going to be great. But their defense, you have to start questioning when they give up 30 points teams like the Bears, the most points the Bears have scored all season, you have to wonder, is the Packers defense ready for the playoffs? Well, here's where all the answers come in, the playoffs. We'll have to wait and see how it all works out. Antonio Brown definitely is the wild card. He's the wild card that's been played uh, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and dare I say, I don't know the Tampa Bay can do it and win another one. Anyway, just wanted to add that little tad bit. I hadn't heard that he was posting uh, tweets.
tweets, excuse me, not tweets, posting messages between him and Bruce Harry. So this is getting uglier by the minute. I'm Mark Holmes, and of course, appreciate y'all. Peace.